Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps to install Audio Cipher as a VST3 on Windows 10 and then get it to open in Ableton Live 10 as a plugin. So when you first purchase and install Audio Cipher, you'll get both the Windows and the Mac installers. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, of course, I'll just be using the Windows installer. So initially it will come as a zip folder, so just extract it to somewhere that's easy to find and then open it up and then let's get started. Now the first option that shows up here is the default location and it shows as program files, VST plugins, audio cipher technologies, and then it's within that folder, but it will actually install to your desktop. So that's where people have been running into some issues. So let's just go ahead and go with that default location. And at this point, it may ask you for administrator permissions. All right, and it has been successfully installed. And then as you can see, right over here, we have the audio cipher VST3 file. So I'm going to pull up Ableton Live right here. And if I open my preferences and we go into the plugins tab, you'll see here that Ableton does a search for a VST2 plugin custom folder as well as a VST3 plugin custom folder. So you're going to want to set up a VST3 folder if you don't have one already. So I'm just going to open up my plugins 64 folder here, which is just the master file I use to contain all of my plugins. I'll go ahead and make a new folder and let's just call it VST3. I'll go back to my desktop and then I'm just going to drag this VST3 into the folder that I just created. So now we'll have Audio Cipher VST3 in that new folder. So if we go back into Ableton and we look at our VST3 plugin custom folder, Go ahead and browse and then just go ahead and find wherever it was that you set up that folder. So for me it was here in plugins and VST3, select folder, okay, and it's scanning. If you already have a VST3 folder linked to your Ableton uh, session, just go ahead and rescan. And as you can see on my screen here, it just detected the VST3 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and it looks like we have audio cipher right here and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this into the MIDI track and there we go it pops up as a plugin inside Ableton Live 10 and then of course we can go ahead and type in a word let's just go with Ableton and drag to MIDI just make sure everything's working correctly and one thing you'll notice is that once I dragged this into Ableton um, my tempo jumped up to 999 BPM and I can't imagine anybody wants to work with that so the quick fix is just double tap to reset it to the default and you're good to go.